I'm with Timothy Abbas here and before I go to the Q&A um, I want to thank everyone here for the birthday wishes and um, all the messages yeah, they've sent to me yeah, on YouTube and um, on MySpace as well and on Facebook and um, today um, and I also want to say yeah, I enjoyed myself at, at Holloway's Best Kebab yeah, cause it was damn good I enjoyed the food there man as usual it's always the best food man you know it's no better place to spend your birthday. <laughs> um, now, today's the new Q&A, and first up we have Mr. Grimes, the anti-hero, and he asks, do you think there should be a console that only plays retro games new or old? And would you buy it? Yes, I would. I think there, sh I think there should be a console, you know, that has only just the games, you know, that, you know, only like the PSN, Xbox Live type games, you know, new ones coming out and new and old ones that was there, you know. I think that'd be perfect. I mean, consoles like that, I don't think they would have to be expensive because you won't you won't need that much to build them really, would you? So I I can imagine a good console for that. That would be perfect. I'd love to see something like that. And second question, would you be happy to see more 3D scrolling beat em ups like Watchmen and Mortal Kombat Shadow Monks in this day and age? I would still like to see a few. Not too much to go overboard like the first person shooters, yeah? But I'd like to see a few more 3D um, scrolling beat em ups. But I want to see some more 2D scrolling beat em ups as well, man. Everyone keeps talking about a new possible Streets of Rage, you know? Well, I say it's got to be fucking done, you know? We've had a new 2, 2D scrolling um, Mega Man gone back to the old school gameplay and it done well. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 seems like it's going to do the same thing and it's probably do well. We need a new Streets of Rage. We need a new Golden Axe as well. And any other games that people are liking, like the Final Fight series on them, Super NES and that type of stuff. We need those. Now, um, Armo619 asks, You told me once that you use the Adobe Premiere for your videos. Can you tell me how much, you, how much did it cost? Unfortunately, I'm a criminal on this one because um, I didn't buy it. It was given to me by Shadow Lost Arts so I have to feel guilty on that one I didn't buy it so I don't know how much it cost and second can you do a, a tutorial on Adobe Premiere um, not really because my because I don't really I don't really know anything here new that's not on them the, the net anyway everything that I do in my videos is just what I know from these type of things and I don't think I'm good at explaining how I do certain things as well anyway. I mean, there, I've noticed some people have looked at a few work I've done and no, point out something, right, how did you actually do this? Yeah, this is wicked. And what and what I used was 3DS Max to do that, not Premiere. So people are kind of, um, uh, 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 you know, not knowing what's happening. Okay. And... Um, now JSJ07 asks, um, I've seen NSG do some videos where he teaches about making beats. Have you ever thought of doing video tutorials like that? Once again, tutorials. Most of the music I do, I do from you using. You know, all my ideas come from things that's all on the net. Comes from certain things. Maybe I could try maybe something. I'm planning to do a video. Yeah, how I train my mind mentally to make music. I'm doing a video soon coming out of that. I just need a cameraman to finish that so look out for that later on and maybe I could try something more later on and stuff like that. I recently downloaded VidZone on PS3. Do you have it? And if so, what are your thoughts? Um, VidZone's good for um, watching um, music videos that you see on TV. I mean like if you if you're if my laptop's down and you know I can't use the internet through my laptop, which happens sometimes, then using them using the PS3 online to watch YouTube, it's not as clear. The frame skipping is not that clear here on mine, right here. Yeah? But for VidZone, it's nice and perfect. So VidZone is useful. I have it. It's pretty useful. I only use it sometimes. Wish I had a few more videos and everything like that. Needs a bit more in the Shikari videos. Um. Feral Instincts um, 
asks, if you could take all your favourite aspects of the Xbox 360, PS3 and we put them into a console, what would they be and why? Okay, the Xbox 360 needs the cross chat, needs cross chat from the Xbox 360. PS3, I'd say the Blu-ray. Now I like, I love Blu-rays. I know people are always saying, yeah, what's the point? What's so good about Blu-ray? Yeah, this is how I see it. You know, the power's there. Why don't you use it? <laughs> That's how I look at it. Yeah, Blu-rays to me are our next thing out there, and uh, I've got some Blu-rays of my own. And you know, I'm a 3D animator, yeah. So, what I look and visualize, yeah, means a lot. So I like seeing a lot of detail, yeah, because it helps me with my own animation work. So, Blu-ray's there for me, yeah. We has got more. Um, it's got more light gun games, you know. So it's got it's got more games to me that I believe are games, more addictive stuff, more more the real type game game stuff. You know what I mean? More variety. That's what I feel the things that need to be moulded onto one console should be. The thing that the Wii do does need is a better sensor bar because this sensor bar is very hard to play light guns with, yeah, because. Once you have the gun aiming at this side of the sensor bar, you're already at the left side of the TV. That's not working properly. That's why you need this sensor bar here, and what comes here with um, Time Crisis 4. Well, you can't see that, but that's at like the right side of the TV. That's, those sensors are better. If only the Wii sensor had something like that, that would help out a bit more. Okay. And second, how do you feel about losing to me in UFC three times in a row? I feel great. It makes me know, yeah, that um, I am not good as I am as I should be yet. It um, helps me to know, yeah, that I've got lots more practicing to do. So I'm gonna be practicing, and if and when I get chances, and if and that, and hopefully I come back, we have a rematch, and we see, yeah, who submits who at this time. All right, and Pyro Freak X26 asks. Have you pl ever played any of the Sly Cop Cooper games? Nope, I actually haven't. And uh, and second, how is Bloody Aliens doing? Will we see it soon? Unfortunately, no. That that project went wrong. I lost bear of the files, and it's my fault because I accidentally deleted the bloody folder that had them in without backing it up first. You know. Oh, dude, I was pissed off for a day. You know, I couldn't believe how I fucking lost it. You know, I don't know whether to make it again or just go straight on to the Similian, really. It's really, um, it's something that, that, that was going well. I mean, I was actually doing it, yeah, as a test of that, you know, practicing my own animation skills and everything, like, yeah. I feel what I've done on it so far has helped me enough learning what I need to do and I'm learning more tutorials on how to make characters more easier to move anyway and stuff so I'm making it more easy and stuff like that soon yeah but unfortunately I've lost the files for bloody aliens and uh, I, fu I fucked up man I'm sorry guys I, f I fucked up I fucked up Cloner7h asks, um, have you watched the Faulty Towers or Mon Mon Monty Python comedy series? They're fucking hilarious. I've seen some of the Monty Python, yeah? I don't know if this is my type of things, really. I mean, I mean, sometimes there are jokes that I don't understand that everyone else understands. They make it, you know... I think I'm more the type of person who can understand the funny, humorous sides in Family Guy and um, South Park that's my type of comedy and angry video game nerds okay and second when is your next stream it was fun being on your last stream um, the thing is sun Saturday and Sunday for the last few weeks I've been going out they're usually in the weekends but 
so I've been going out here to do certain things and that I'll probably tell you about more in the future um, but uh, at the moment um, maybe I could turn around maybe I could say Sunday night I could try Sunday a little bit more in the evening so hopefully you'll see that yeah and here we are with Linissa Productions have you ever thought of making a band with Mr. Grimes, NSG and Joe? I think it would be a cool thing, man. Um, I think it would be class as well. It's all about, are they all on it? Joe has given up on music, you know, he, he just wants to do his film. You know, he's had, he's had enough. Of, he's just had enough of it, really. He just wants to do his film. You know, he says music industry is just not the way it is, really. NSG and that. I'm I'm pretty sure he's always up for um, collaboration, but I don't know if he's wanting to make a band. Mr. Grimes, I know he's up for it. Now me, the thing is, right here, if we're going to be a band, that means we have to perform, and I am shit at performing, despite the the music that I make. Right here, yeah? you got to remember when I make the music, I use a mouse. And then, okay, fair enough, I do use a keyboard, and that yeah, but I, I'm I'm synchronizing. I'm more better at synchronize when it comes to performing yeah I haven't got the confidence here yeah, because I can muff up I could be the person who kills the band so that's a real hard thing to talk about so we're gonna have to come back to that one later if that ever happens do you know Salvador Dali and or Dali I can't, I, I can't pronounce it and did you see his arts it's amazing love it his arts his artwork is pretty good and I like I like some of his artwork I'm more into um a little bit of the anthro slash uh, comedy action type art, yeah. You know, some some artists like Hound Grey on Deviant Arts and Matthew Smith and Eggplant Man. I like them. I like those type of arts, you know. And De Shirdi, I can't pronounce his his name. Yeah, those are my favourite artists. But Salvador Salvador Dali is pretty good. And of course, let's not forget Fred Aris. His oil painting is just beautiful. And Rob7424 asks, um, um, Happy 26th birthday 10th. Thanks thanks very much, man. I've recently been looking at some work by NSG. Have you have you thought about collaborating with him? I think it would be interesting if you did. I um, would definitely like to collaborate with him, right? Yeah. Um, when we're both ready, we'll, we'll probably be on it. I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm hopefully yeah, going to have him collaborate with one of my songs on the... Um, the next album when I'm ready to do it and um, second you're almost on 3,300 subscribers how many more do you hope to have in the, in the year if you're talking about a year from now precise now I'd hope to have I'd hope yeah that um, my rate so far has been kind of 1,000 subscribers a year really so I, what I hope it doesn't go down so by this time next year, hopefully, I have 4,300, unless the subscribe rate goes up. I don't mind if it goes up, it'd be a bonus, but I'm just hoping it doesn't go down. That's the, that's the rate so far, 1,000 a year. <coughs> Green Smog 17 asks, um, does the rise in crime in your local area piss you off, or do you try not to think about it? If so, do your local friends think the same? even if they're associated with those people. Um, the thing is, yeah, the, 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 rise, the rise in crime yeah, in my local area can piss me off a bit, yeah, but the situation is I'm living in a road where loads of different things happen. If you know, I've got some drug dealers on my street and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It's really, don't know what to say at some certain points, you know what I mean, yeah? And um, you know, friend, I do have friends who do hang out with certain people who are troublemakers. But then, at least they know when to walk away from them. So that's the cool thing, really. But I try not to let it piss me off. Otherwise, you know, I, I, this I'm in the area right now, yeah, where you can't, you know, you might as well let it go. <laughs> so, 
something will happen hopefully for the better now Martino 7 asks hello hi, how are you so what's the difference between kickboxing and Muay Thai there's not really a difference practically between the styles like if you went to learn kickboxing you might learn the same thing what you'd do if you went to learn Muay Thai but then in a contradiction I mean this is what I believe yeah when I, especially when I watch a kickboxing match or watch a Muay Thai match or watch a kickboxing match that says Muay Thai rules on it yeah I believe that in kickboxing yeah they use four out of the eight weapons more but Muay Thai they use all eight weapons and you know what I'm talking about yeah that 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 you know knee knee foot foot you know you know that that's what that's what I feel um Muay Thai Muay Thai is more on situation, you know, you know, you see more knee kicks, you see more elbows and stuff and it's it's clearly more aggressive. That's why you see some kickboxing where they don't have Muay Thai rules, they don't allow knee kicks, they don't allow the elbows, you know. And then that's why there's so many Muay Thai fighters in UFC because that's where it all can go in, boy, it's just wicked. Second, if you could go back in history or forward to the future, what time periods would you love to live in or visit and why? Love, love to live in the 80s, you know. To me, games were more um, fun back then. Movies, to me, most movies were done properly. They're done, yeah, I mean, like, most movies these days are masterpieces. Movies that you remember forever. No modernising of rubbish, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, I'd say the 80s. Unfortunately, because my time during the 80s, unfortunately, I left the 80s when I was six, when I was six years old. If that makes sense, because, you know, born 1984, you're going to be six when it's, um, uh, when it's nine, when you, when you, when you left the 80s. But maybe, okay, maybe 80s, early 90s. I'll put it to that much, really. Those are the days when I feel things knew what they were. But I think today people focus too much on technology and forget about the principles and the concepts what made things what they are today. You know, so 80s and 90s, I'd have to say, are the times I'd like to live in. Now, Air Cages asks, um, what do you do when people don't believe that you'll succeed? Like family or friends telling you that you should get a job, education, instead of wasting time on music or whatever I would like to become a music producer but most people don't believe me and I think I'm just wait and think I'm wasting my time and think I'm some lazy bum even though I work hard on making music which doesn't bring in money yet they much rather see me some crappy job than trying to realize my dreams okay um, you know you know you basically just taking every word out there right out of my mouth right here yeah? with what I say in life all the time. The only thing that I do is just ignore it and try to keep working on it, right, yeah? If it gets to a situation where you're in a conversation, yeah? I just keep bringing up the same argument all the time, yeah? That if you're working today on music, you're earning absolute nothing, and tomorrow you earn, you work on music, yeah? And now you earn money, right? Does that mean you, you was lazy to, today but you're not lazy tomorrow. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense, does it? You know, it always will never make sense. You know? And I, I just gotta say, does your friends want you to be happy? Because, like I've always said, yeah, I would rather earn shit money doing what I love all the time than earn loads of money and just be miserable because money means nothing to me if you're not enjoying what you're doing it's rubbish so your friends and family just needs to think about do they want you to be happy because my mum wants me to be happy she let she she lets me work on a, on on a, on music and animation yeah because she knows it's what i like she knows i want to do my living with that she knows i want to succeed at that and it and she's given me every chance i need because the reason why is because she wants me to be happy she knows what I'll be like if I went and got a job. You know? 
no one can say you're lazy if you're working to um, entertain people you know let's imagine yeah, you worked in Argus or something like game or something you worked in um, a shop yeah and they don't pay you money for the day that means you're lazy now don't sound right does it the scene online asks seen as music's changing do you think it'll be better for you to change your music to fit in with what everybody's listening to kind of like um, David Guetta um, not really I don't I don't like to just change my music because other people do really yeah David Guetta his music to me has always been house and everything that yeah he may change yeah, a little bit of things but he doesn't change his concept yeah which is what's good I love David Guetta's music a lot man I noticed so many other people yeah does the same type of music as David Guetta I believe yeah they're just trying to copy him and yet they make it as well right yeah and that people could say that I could I should do the same thing the thing is I come out flat and say I'm not David Guetta I'm Tempfew for Ibis I'm my own thing you know the industry are the ones who don't want new music they say they do but they obviously don't because when new music comes out they obviously don't won't take it so therefore I can't I, can't, I would just rather just get my own fans my own way really and YouTube's helped a lot with that so far already and MySpace has helped a lot Django Radio is helping with that a lot now so I thank all you guys here for all your support man I really do and second question what's the Similian about and he's got it here he's got it here it's Similians yeah it's actually the Samillion S-A million and there's only one Similian, so there's no S on the end. <laughs> but um, the Similian is a a monster created here yeah, by um, a crazy mental sci scientist who um, eats um, and kills humans and animals, whether he's hungry or not. You know, he has a mind that's just full of got to kill and the film's basically about getting the Similian to try and stop his ways because he's undefeatable you can't it's hard to kill him it's all about sort of getting him to realize what having friends or what love is all about but whatever happens it the way I'm gonna put it though in it yeah there's gonna be a lot of action the way I want to do it there's gonna be a lot of action it's quite. It's going to be a hard thing to film. Now I've already done the the, the um, model already of um, the Samilian, but I don't want to show him yet because the reason is because it doesn't. I don't know how long this film will take me. Well, if it takes me twenty years, there's no point in me showing it to you right now. And if they know twenty years, you're used to the way he looks already. You know, you, you're not, not you're not going to be fair. You know, I'd rather have it a bit more surprise, maybe, or show him when I do a trailer. You know, so. At the moment, I'm not really to, ready to say too much more about it yet. But there'll be more to come when I've done more. Now, Resident Evil 0514 asks, Temp, you, you are a PS3 owner and most certainly heard of Heavy Rain and how it's changing the way of games. Did you get a chance to play it or go into? If so, what's your opinion on the, on the game? You know what, I haven't played it yet, you know. I heard it is bloody different, so I've, I've got to check it out. I've downloaded a demo already, so I'm going to turn my PS3 on in a moment, and I'll play it. So I probably may come back to that if I love it a lot. So I haven't got an opinion of the game yet, but it seems like it's very good. Now, Melvin Hung asks, will you be buying Mega Man 10 when it's released on the PSN? I probably will. I've still got a lot of money left here from birthday present of the play... PlayStation Network points, so not points, um, credit. Um, so people, I probably will like that. And second, what is your favourite robot master from any Mega Man game? I might as well say Elect Man because it's like when you used to face him on Mega Man One on on the NES, he was just a hard character to beat. He was fast, he was agile, and he throws something that just takes off all your energy, and that. And his suit was pretty wicked. You know, it's like, I wanted to be a Lechman. You know? And his stage music was fantastic. Inspires me to make the electronica music I make today. See, look at that. 
electronic music pro produ producer and an um, elect man fits in it and now questions from Earth Guardian 2 what do you think I think we've got some typos here because he's got here what you that my PS1 still work 10 aura more years and that problem on a free, 360 red ring of death all right so he's, he's i think he's saying what does he what do i think here that his ps3 the ps1 still works 10 years and then the 360 has problems that's one thing that shows that even the old consoles are just better really i mean you remember here yeah, from my my top 10 controllers that despite a broken button you know um i can use my atari 2600 controller you know my so joystick I've used it for 22 years and that thing still works you know that broken button doesn't actually affect it It actually made it even better really and yet today it still works no problems with it whatsoever and yet I've had so many PS1 controllers break I've had so many PS2 controllers break I've got one broken PS3 controller and the consoles they fail much more times. Oh, fair enough, yeah, they're failing because there's there's more things in them, so there's more things that could go wrong. But the point, the fact is, is that the old consoles last much better. My friend's PS1 fell down the stairs four times, and it still works. If your PS3 falls down the stairs, you're fucked. <laughs> Huge GTA Vice City fan asks, "What is the best present you have ever got for your birthday?" I don't think I have a best one because I always get something brilliant here yeah, for my birthday. Everything's always cool. I remember the best pizza that I got for my birthday. You know when you have the circle pizza in the box right here? Yeah? A part of the cheese in front of it, yeah, completely melted all down to the side and made in a corner like a slice. It was just a complete big massive flunk of cheese here. Yeah? No bread underneath it or nothing, no crust or nothing. It was just the proper whole pizza and only the pizza in your hand. And I, and I ate that, yeah. I was like, my best pizza. And as for presents, hmm, I can't pick out of all my presents that I'm going to have to say it's a class. I know my be best present for this birthday has got to be my UFC clothes because they're, they're just absolutely fantastic. But, well, I actually can't answer that question because there are so many presents that I've got over the years. I remember my fifth birthday, I had two birthday cakes. Anyway, see the thing is, the best thing I can only remember about birthdays is memories. I can't really remember what's the best present, you know. So I can't answer that question. Sorry, I really don't know. Second, what present did you not like? There is no present I did not like. The situation is, there could be a present that I may not used much from when got it, but the fact that the person was you know genuine enough to get me a present from their own money or from their own thing to show that they care that's all what matters to me you know so I gotta say yeah that um, yeah I gotta say yeah that there is no present that I don't like my nose keeps itching me man Jesus and Malcro21 asks why do you suppose it's only regarded as racism when the blacks are involved take an example Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5 I don't know I do not know I just don't I I just wish it everyone was just as open as me man I just don't give a shit about racism people call me the n-word all the time I laugh my head off man you know I do racist jokes to my friends all the time we do racist jokes back to each other and it's just all jokes you know we can take it so much yeah I can't understand why do these people take it so bad and everything like yeah you know I, I just think I don't know maybe it's got something to do with the fact that black people used to be slaves and this type of thing so they're going to just take anything that looks like black people are getting killed as that you know I literally just don't give a shit really I just don't care about the racism I really don't I really don't understand I understand what you're, where you're coming from because, well, it's hard to say. I really can't answer in the detail why I reckon they're involved because I just don't know. I don't know. I'm just so open that I just don't know. 
it's funny though man it's funny in it but anyway um that's all I can say that's the that's the last of the questions but I'm gonna check to see if I have any more if I've missed any okay that is the end of the questions all right um now um so guys yeah um look out for a video right yeah where I'm gonna talk about how I mentally train myself here yeah, to make music right and now mate I'm not saying that's gonna be next right because I'm still waiting for a cameraman to come and help me film certain parts for it and um and Chad Lost Arts he's more busy than before now so it, it may not be him but um but I'm not sure what video would be next but look out for that video in the future because hopefully that's going to be a video that will help people know what inspires me to make my music and yeah I'll probably have some other videos later on yeah so um, that's all I've got to speak about guys so thanks very much I'll see you all later love you all